Hello viewers, welcome to another Smash video. I know this looks like a total mess, but, uh, ah well. I'm going to upgrade the CPU on my laptop, on my uh, Fujitsu Siemens Amilo PA1510. Yep. This is the original CPU here. Yeah, I can't get it in the light, so... Ah, well. Um, it's it's an Turion 64X2 TL50, so... Not much to say about that. The new CPU is this one, which is a Turion 64X2 TL60, which is a 2 GHz dual core. Awesome. Um, as you can see, it's still dirty. It has thermal grease on it from a previous owner. I'll have to clean that off. And I'll have to clean the heatsink on this thing, but it won't come off because it's all stuck in there. So I've been trying to get it out, but I guess I'm just going to have to uh, do it some other way, but it will work. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to clean everything and put the CPU in, and we'll see how it runs. Alrighty, she's back together, and let's start. Let's go over the first boot up. After changing our CPU, let's see if we actually have succeeded in our task. Let's go. Is it Siemens again to the BIOS? This is a good sign. Apparently it's booting up. Alrighty. Two gigabytes of RAM, that's alright. And it says... Turion 64X2 Mobile TL60. Here we go. Doesn't say clock speed. Um, let's just discard a change and exit. Oh, there's a disk in a drive. <laughs> Gonna boot up Windows 7. It's a bit dusty, it's dirty. But yeah, it says designed for Windows Vista. Turion 64X2. I think the basic model of this laptop type specifically was actually delivered with a Turion single core. Alright. Booting up. And there we are at the desktop. Hold on a brief second. Right. That's too dark, isn't it? Yep. That's about right. Okay, let's check out the system property, shall we? Not see that, but it says AMD Trion 64X2 mobile technology TL60 2 gigahertz gigabytes of RAM 1.87 usable. Let's pull up CPU Z and hardware monitor if we can. All right. Um, yeah. Let's see, temperatures are normal. CPU is around 50 degrees. This clock speed, let's see, code name Tyler, TL60. Currently running, clocking back to 800 megahertz. We And it clocks back up to 2 gigahertz, so it's working. This processor also has a megabyte of cache instead of 512k, so that's also an improvement, running at 0 0.8 volts. 65 nanometer. AMD virtualization supported. The previous one didn't have that either. So that's another big plus, I guess. So, well, yeah. It seems our CPU upgrade was indeed successful. The temperatures are normal. The system feels good. Clock speed is indefinitely improved. It's 400 megahertz more than it used to be. So, I guess, yeah. Job well done. The Milo PA1510 has been upgraded. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.